including polynomial terms in a regression model can allow for nonlinearities between continuous predictors and the outcome. In this example, we're going to use Framingham and look at the outcome of total cholesterol at exam two as a function of age at baseline. We're going to assess whether there's any nonlinearities between age and cholesterol. Before creating our polynomial terms, we first need to center these polynomial terms due to the computational advantages of centering when you're using polynomials. The first step to centering is to figure out what is the mean of age. So when we summarize age, you see that the mean is about 49.8. To create a centered covariate, we simply subtract the mean. So now we have a centered version of age in our data set, and we can construct polynomial terms using this centered variable. I'm going to construct age C2, which is a centered version of age that is squared, and do the same thing for a cubic term. I'm going to stop at the cubic term, though I could go to higher order polynomials if I wanted to. Now I'm going to regress total cholesterol at exam 2 on age C and the polynomial terms. Looking at the output, I can look at the line for the cubic term and see that it's very non-statistically significant. So maybe I could consider dropping the cubic term from this model. When I drop the cubic term, I see that the coefficient for the quadratic term for age is highly statistically significant. So we might actually want to include this quadratic term in the model to allow for nonlinearities between age and total cholesterol. If I wanted to test for an association between age and uh, the mean total cholesterol, I could use the test parm command and include both HC and HC2. And I observe a highly statistically significant p-value suggesting that there is evidence of an association between age and the mean cholesterol. I can also fit a multiple linear regression model where I add in more terms. And again, I see that the coefficient for the quadratic term is highly significant. So in the multiple linear regression model, I would also want to include the quadratic term. Running the test parm command again, I see that there's an association between age and the mean total cholesterol after I fix the other variables in the model. 